and here we are in the Fondel Park. I always see people running here. It's uh, nine o'clock in the morning. City is pretty quiet, but uh, the park is getting busy because a lot of people run here. You will see that. So a lot of motivation to get from. And I'm going to be joined here with my good friend George, and we're going to have a little bit of a chat before we go for a run. So, Sunday morning, 11th of October, 11th day of my run. Uh, like I mentioned yesterday, I've been joined here by uh, my good friend George. Uh, we worked together and uh, over a period of time we got to meet, know each other and became uh, friends. And George has agreed to join me today. Um, I'll let George say a little bit about himself and uh, then we're going to go for a run. So, um, here we go. Hi George, uh, how are you doing? Good. How gaat it with you? Yeah, it gaat good. Uh, yeah? Looking, uh, looking forward also to contribute to this, uh, this challenge. Thank I've you. I've also been watching uh, the videos and I'm, uh, I'm really supportive. I think it's uh, a good idea. Yeah. And, I, and I always, uh, if I run, I always run here in, uh, in the former park. And I thought it's also a good, yeah, a, a, a good area also to, uh, to shoot a, a video. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm really uh, lo looking forward to do this. I'm, um, I, I live uh, close by. I live in this area, I think, already for, uh, for, for eight years now. And, uh, and I also like uh, like running, uh, especially uh, yeah, with, with this kind of uh, with this kind of weather. Uh, it is nice, so I also uh, do it quite often. So. Uh. And what's your? Uh, because I remember a couple of years ago you decided to you, you started focusing more and more on fitness. You started going to the gym with your uh, old friend. Yeah. Um, and since then, I noticed that you've been continuing, which is really amazing. Do you have? Is there any background to that? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, 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 I, I, I used to play football a lot, but at one point. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, a little bit more to uh, too time consuming because then you have to really follow a certain uh, uh, schedule so you play football on, on Saturdays and now I also have a son so I could not uh, combine it anymore so and what, what for me is really important that I always do it together with somebody if that is for me really my uh, uh, my trigger uh, 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 to go uh, and then you also make each other accountable so if you also agree to do it with uh, uh, with, with somebody and you're, you're, you don't feel like it then then there's always the commitment to the other person and that is for me really important yeah I, I see George I think I fully agree with you that uh, running with somebody is much easier uh, than uh, running alone uh, yeah, maybe it's also good to mention that uh, this round, one round is 3.3k uh, uh, because I don't think you have mentioned how, how, much, uh, how, uh, how many k you're going to run today. Yeah, normally I try to run anywhere between uh, uh, like 5k is my average, more or less now. Um, so if we can do 5k, that's, that'll be good enough for me. But yeah. let's see how we go. Indeed. Yeah, all right, let's go. To Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. So, we finished first leg of our run. We did 3.3k? No, no, one round is 3.3, so we only uh, halfway now. Oh, we are halfway through? Yes. So we only did uh, one and a half k. I was, I was wondering why I'm not feeling <laughs> anything at all. Uh, we stopped a bit early, but we stopped also to... For a reason. For a reason, and the reason is such a beautiful uh, sight, uh, very lovely lake. Um, George, while you're here, I wanted to ask you something. Um, I'm an Indian. Yes. Uh, you've been working with me for three years and you've been working with many more Indians. Uh, mm -hmm. Just what is your, uh, what's your first impression straight out of your head? What do you think? Um, well, really, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think they're really determined and focused. 
if they commit to something, uh, they will make it make it happen. And uh, yeah, they, they, they are willing to to, uh, to put the extra mile in it. And uh, yeah. that is what I see. And they also really trustworthy. So so yeah, uh, they really try everything uh, to to make it happen. Tell the real deal, George. Well, spit it out. Uh, well, in the other side, well, uh, Indians are also. If you compare them with Dutch, Dutch people are pretty straightforward. If if they don't like somebody, uh, something, they, they they will say it. Indians, I think they keep it more to themselves. But I think that is also more Asian, so it's not not only uh, Indian. So so uh, yeah, that, that that's. I think there's a difference between uh, maybe the, the Dutch culture and, uh, and the Indian culture. When I talk about Barrett, uh, Barrett I think uh, he's also, he can also be straightforward. In, in case something is on your mind, then you will mention it straight away. So you're not really a good example. <laughs> and what about uh, the food habits? Uh, anything? Because um, the, the reason I mentioned that is because George and I were having a coffee the other day and uh, I had ordered a toasty. So I was ask, offering George my, uh, something to eat and George has said no before and I asked a couple of times and George was a little perplexed that I only said no. Yeah. And uh, Yeah, but that for me that's not uncommon because um, my wife is Indonesian so I uh, and also in, in thinking in the Indonesian uh, uh, culture uh, that they food is an important thing so if you go to a birthday party or, uh, uh, or, or, or it's, it's the wedding, it's all about the food. And I think that that's also the same with, with Indian. So that, that is how they, sh they show their uh, uh, appreciation, that, that, they, uh, uh, that it's really, uh, yeah, food is, is, is bonding. And in Dutch, it, it's more like coffee with a, with, with a small biscuit. <laughs> so so the, and maybe uh, you, you get a second uh, a cup of coffee, but uh, yeah, with, with, with Indian is, is more generous that way. And if you uh, uh, politely refuse, well, then they they don't accept uh, no as an as an answer. Uh, and but but I, I like the food. Wow! And my, my favorite is the chicken uh, masala. That is. Uh, <laughs> well, um, I must say George is as Dutch as it can get. George is very straightforward. Uh, I'm already used to the culture uh, very much, but there's all, you can always see the surprise on somebody's face uh, when they encountered a different culture. Uh, but uh, it's very interesting to see different cultures uh, and experience them. Um, we often talk about how we feel about cultures where we visit as Indians, uh, but it's also interesting to see how people perceive us. So I think we have cooled down enough, we have talked enough. Shall we just go for uh, Indeed, because it, finish it off? It's accountability challenge. Yeah, absolutely. So I think you're in your videos you're more talking than running. Than running so. <laughs> this I'm gonna add it. <laughs> I think you're in your videos you're more talking than running. So <laughs> this I'm gonna add it. Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near. All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong. One shot to the head and I'm gone. I'm losing control, but I can't let it go because I'm trying to get more. And I've been in a moment, I've been in a zone and I'm moving alone. I don't pick up the phone with my family call. I've been doing it wrong and I don't know what's happening. Trying to get what I just been imagining. Getting close and I just been examining all of the fake shit the game has been packaging. I've been keeping real, I've been doing what I feel. I've been out here trying to kill every beat. I know I will. Everything I'm working on. Oh, we did six kilometers. Still. George wants to push us. Yes, yes, we're gonna. The last leg. The last part. Almost there. Just finished. 6.5k yes. thanks to George and it started to pour now yes and uh, uh, you can see so it's uh, time for uh, to get some coffee it's time to get a coffee and a breakfast and in Dutch they call it het ontbijt yeah so um, well I want to thank George um, for uh, joining me giving me insights talking about uh, different things including uh, Indian people so um, it was a good day we had a good run we're gonna go and have a coffee George any last uh, 
No, it was it, it was my pleasure to to join and uh, happy to do it again. So maybe uh, next week, another yeah. uh, then we can do a slow plus. So uh, yeah, that's I'm, uh, l let's agree on that. Sure. So George is already making an afspraak. <laughs> afspraak is appointment. In uh, Dutch people always work with appointments. Yeah. Or afspraak. If you don't show up in time, you better not show up. That, that is that is true indeed. Yeah, I'm. Uh, Dutch people are very punctual uh, on that. Yes. So if you uh, if you're 50 minutes late, then people already find it annoying. Yeah. But maybe that's also different. Uh, how is it? Uh... Yeah, we are we are a little bit easy on our <laughs> timings, uh, but it's changing. So it's, it's uh, starting to uh, shower uh, heavily. So we're gonna start uh, moving now. Uh, again, thanks very much, George. You're welcome. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time then. Never gonna lose because I'm still doing both. Never gonna lose because I've been on the road. Come to your state and I'm killing the show. Know that I'm young and I still gotta grow. Know that I'm working the most. No, I'm never gonna choke and I'm looking back down on the people below. I've been keeping real. I've been doing what I feel. I've been out here trying to kill every beat I know.